Welcome back to 8701. In this short section, we want to look at the weak interaction a little bit more and specifically discuss neutral currents. We looked uh, in, in some detail at uh, charged currents, specifically the interaction with quarks. So here, we want to look at the Z boson specifically and the weak interaction via the neutral current. So studying those two processes here, where there's an electron and a positron, through some process, including a Z boson or a photon, uh, resulting in a muon and an antimuon. Those processes have been studied in great detail at SLAC and at CERN with the SLC and the Large Electron Positron Collider. So if we wanna you know, calculate the cross-section and study the cross-section as a center of mass energy, we see a number of interesting effects. At low energies and at very large energies, cross-section runs with one over the energy squared. But at the mass of the Z boson, we see this enormous resonance here. So the resonance is about 200, the cross-section at the resonance uh, from the Z boson is about 200 times that over just the photon exchange. So this allows you to study the Z boson at, with great precision um, at those colliders. You have sizable cross-section when you are an electron positron colliders. And then you can, with precision, look at you know, what is the rate into mu and anti mu, and what is the rate into quark anti quark, and so on. And you can study the mass, the width of the Z boson um, with, with an enormous level of precision. Again, so I will not go into too much detail here. Um, please have a look at chapter 9.6 in Griffiths, for example, but there's many other resources where you can learn about more about neutral currents. Neutral currents, electro, uh, weak neutral currents are specifically important in the study of neutrinos, as we have, uh, as we will discuss more in, in, in the lectures as well. 